Prince Harry, who turned 40 on September 15, has been advised not to make the same mistakes as his scandalous uncle, Prince Andrew, 64. This led a former aide to the Duke of York to warn, there's a lesson for all spares to the heir in this, and the people who advise them. These guys are expected to just get on and do the job but they're often woefully equipped to do it. In stark contrast to this cautionary warning, Randy Andy is apparently less of a threat to the British monarchy's reputation than Harry according to a royal scribe. Harry is a loose cannon, and Meghan even more so. They both have more books coming, royal author Andrew Loney told an outlet. The strategy, I believe, is to keep in with him and to marginalize her, which is exactly what they did with Wallace and the Duke of Windsor, Loney added. Andrew has been loyal to a certain extent. He's made some implicit threats, and things have been floated about books and TV interviews, but ultimately he is a loyalist. Loney continued, Andrew is less of a problem than Harry. He may become more of a problem. But he's not been rude about Camilla. He's not set out to destabilize the monarchy. He hasn't spilled secrets. The king is also on a quest to allegedly repair Andrew's public image. As RadarOnline.com previously reported, Prince William was apparently forced by the monarch to give Andrew a ride to Balmoral Castle recently. It was said that Charles III knew the popularity of his heir may bleed over to normalizing the disgraced Duke of York. The extent to which the king has publicly made it clear Andrew is still part of the family has caught some people by surprise, a royal insider spilled. But ultimately, he has the interests of the monarchy at heart, and that means a united family, whatever its problems. Hopefully, that message is getting through to Harry and Meghan. Another palace source added, no one, not least his majesty, believes there is any realistic, long-term chance of the Duke of York being able to keep the roof at Royal Lodge over his head. Other analysts and insiders feel that the king does not equate the allegations against his brother with the cold, hard facts of what his youngest son and daughter-in-law did in an effort to make millions. He is part of the family. He is the king's brother. He has not been found guilty of any crime, and I think it's fair to say that the king is making it clear that he won't turn his back on his brother, a friend of the monarch spilled. Geo News reported on the aide's warning.